Kaviar Airport. everyone I realized that I have not spoken yet in this vlog and I apologize for that I definitely got a little shy vlogging in front of others and also my boyfriend was on the phone with his family while I was trying to film this get ready with me so this is me checking in saying hello I wanted to give a little context to the beginning of the video and just let you guys know what we were doing so we stayed at an all-inclusive resort near Playa del Carmen it's kind of between Cancun Playa del Carmen and we had an amazing time we stayed at an all-inclusive we ate we drank we were merry and it was an amazing time I also wanted to mention that I was on a family trip this was a huge group of family and friends and partners and we were all here to celebrate my dad and my stepmom's recent wedding they eloped I am very fortunate I am very grateful it was an amazing trip and I loved spending time with my family our first day was we basically got in around I don't know about 6 30 into cancun so we would took that little golf cart around the resort that was kind of how we got around the resort it wasn't a huge resort but there was a big gap between the main portion of the resort and then the beach and we ate at the beach the first night so we went and got tapas at the tapas restaurant and then we had some margaritas of course and then we went to the rooftop bar afterward and had some cocktails there as you saw it was fabulous and then our very first day we woke up got breakfast at the breakfast buffet and then headed straight to the beach it is absolutely gorgeous beaches here there are i think they're predominantly man-made so they're pristine they're white they rake up all the seaweed and everything first thing in the morning they're just absolutely stunning beaches and yeah we hung out there and then we got some coffee at the coffee bar i think i was trying to max out my all-inclusive by getting as many lattes as i possibly could in <laughs> each day so i hit up that coffee bar more than i care to admit and the man <laughs> was always saying welcome back but yeah and then after that we hung out and got some lunch at the lagoon which you saw um, with the greenish water that is like the lagoon that ran through this resort and i really loved how it felt like they built the resort around what was there beforehand and not so much like tore everything down and built a resort on top so that was a really cool feature of this resort and now you are all caught up you are watching me do my makeup and i can't do my eyeliner or mascara to save my life so i had to clip a bunch of this out because good god i realized how tedious my my process is I get mascara all over my eyelids. Um, what do people talk about during Get Ready With Me's? I do not know. I could not decide what to do with my hair on this lovely occasion. 
I found it very difficult to do my hair in Cancun just because the humidity is so high and I'm not used to it at all. Um, I realized my hair gets very, very frizzy. Even when I was trying to wear it curly because it was naturally so much curlier there than it is at home, I was really struggling with it because it would just be so frizzy. I just felt like I didn't have the right tools to do my hair there, the right products. But I blow dried my hair on this day and then it, I could just see it frizzing. I could just see it inflating with frizz. So I ended up deciding to put it up. Wasn't sure if I was gonna go with a ponytail like on the top of my head or if I was gonna slick it back. Also, forgive me for the giant spill on the front of my shirt during this entire video. I spilled a little bit of beer on the front and I ended up like washing the front of myself because I just didn't want there to be a distinct line where the beer was. That is mainly water, but that is what that is. So yeah, I couldn't figure out what the heck I wanted to do with my hair. I was really struggling, but we ended up slicking it back and I actually really liked the way it ended up looking. I kind of slicked it back and then pinned up the back in a clip in a claw clip just to give it a little bit more volume so it looked like a, a big thick pony. And I really enjoyed the way it looked. And now I'm actually gonna shut up because I really don't think that this is valid in a vlog. All right, goodbye. I'm vlogging. This is my sister, Megan. Isn't she stunning? <laughs> and so burnt. And so, so, so. Burnt. She's burnt. I'm not. Hey guys. Sister girl. Okay, so today I just wanted to talk through how I ride in a golf cart. So <laughs> I sit on the seat and then. And then. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to the vlog. I kind of have been slacking a little bit with the vlogging for the past two days. So today is Tuesday morning. Yes. We got here late Saturday. So then we had full day Sunday, full day Monday. And so today is Tuesday and I am kicking off the vlog with the first chatty portion of it. Yeah, I wanted to give you guys an update. I burnt my shoulder. Oh. That is so upsetting. I, I'm pretty sure in my packing portion of the prepping for my vacation video, I was talking about how I wasn't going to burn at all. And I burnt on the second day. The sun is just really, really strong here. <laughs> we went uh, golfing yesterday, played 18 holes, and we kicked off at 12.30. So it was like 12.30 to 4.30. And it was really, really hot. It was, we had a breeze the whole time, so that made it better. Oh my god, there's a woman on the balcony. Just kidding. <laughs> I had to move inside. So yeah, it is Tuesday. We are about to go on a run. So far, we've been just chilling in the resort. We did a beach day on Monday. Did pool yesterday slash golf. And yeah, we've just been enjoying having lots of drinks, enjoying the all-inclusive. Tomorrow we have a tour. We're going to Chichen Itza and I'm very excited. We're gonna go to a cenote as well and just see some Mayan, you know, ruins. I'm very excited. And I am hoping I do not burn anymore because that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> Yeah. 
gals. And the jaguar represent the sun during the night. They believe the sun goes to the horizon, the sunset, they believe goes into the underworld, into the place of death. They will hang the heads of their enemies that lose the game in the ball game. The ball game is over there.
everyone. Good morning. I figured I should probably have a chat with you guys because I haven't. <laughs> it's been almost a full week and I haven't really sat down and caught up with you guys, so I figure I would. I am a little hungover. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I There's also an insane amount of construction right now, so please ignore that. But I thought I would just I hope that this isn't so loud, the construction. It's probably really loud. Um, okay, well that's probably an issue. I don't really have anywhere else to do this right now though, so I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, today is Friday. I am definitely hungover. We were out drinking last night late um, because we didn't really wanna have a big night the night before we left of our flights and everything so last night was the big hurrah and i'm feeling it today i was up late and i can't sleep any longer but i need to sleep longer so that's that i am also burnt so that's embarrassing i specifically said i was not going to get much sun and i faked tan beforehand so that i would just sit in the shade in my sunscreen and not get burnt and I got burnt yesterday. That's my my bad. I should have put on more sunscreen, but the sun is crazy here. If you are not reapplying every hour, two hours, you are going to fry. And I'm probably the best of our group for not burning, me and David are, but we are still burnt. So that's unfortunate. I have hardly read House of Flame and Shadow. I have hardly been reading at all. I feel like this is such a big group with so many people that there's just like a lot of chit chat to be had at the pool so my goal today is to read more of this my goal today also is to not drink much because i feel awful i feel very sleep deprived i just feel like because i've had alcohol in my system at least once or twice every day i just haven't been sleeping very well like i really notice how poor sleep i get when i have any drinks and that's been a daily occurrence here. So I haven't been sleeping very good. Um, I thought I would be, you know, resting up on vacation, but I haven't been sleeping much at all. And I want to get a good rest tomorrow night or tonight. Yeah, so I guess I'll just run you through what we've been doing. Honestly, it's been very chill. We're in an all-inclusive, as I mentioned. So we've been really enjoying the all-inclusive staying at the resort. It's only a one-week trip, so... We had one tour that was on Wednesday and we went to Chichen Itza and then we went to a cenote and that was very cool. And we went to Valladolid and we went to a lunch there and it's a very old town. It was just a very cool day trip. And then other than that, I think we did Playa del Carmen yesterday. I got a few clips from that. But yeah, outside of that, we've just been chilling in the resort, you know, swapping between pool and beach. I've been spending time with my family and my friends and my boyfriend, and it's been really nice. Yeah, it's been a very chill, fun trip. I've been very, very lucky to be here. Very grateful. I think today we're just gonna sit by the pool. My little niece is learning to swim, so we've just been, you know, chilling by the pool, watching her swim, 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 and I'm gonna definitely read more. That's the plan for today. I'm going to read more. Oh, also, I went to upload my packing video. So I made a whole packing video. It was filmed and edited on the plane ride over here. And I was really excited to have a video to upload while I was here. But I can't upload it. I tried my best all day yesterday and it was uploading for 24 hours and it just isn't uploading on the Wi-Fi here. I don't know why. So that's unfortunate, but I think I'll just upload that over the weekend when I get back, probably Sunday. Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's any other updates. It's I feel like there'll, there'll be some cool clips to look at, but there's not too, too much to catch up on. Sun here is really not playing at all. I keep saying, like, I think there's a hole in the ozone here. The sun is just so hot, direct. You burn instantaneously. And we are not doing that today. Not on the last day. I really want it to be more sun safe. I feel like my, my face has been better. Like, I'm not burnt, but I definitely still am getting color on my face. And 
that was not the plan. I have microneedling when I get back to like help with a bunch of sun damage. <laughs> so I didn't want to give myself sun damage before removing it. Um, but it's just so hard. Like even just indirect sun, you're getting so much of it here with the pool, the water. I've been wearing hats and sunscreen on my face like a crazy person. I also have um, the super goop resetting powder. This stuff is like SPF 45. So you can like continuously powder your face with mineral sunscreen to like make sure you uh, reapply your sunscreen. And I've been doing that as well, wherever I can. And it's just kind of impossible not to get some sun on your face here. So that's not great. I actually really like the sunscreen I bought. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Yeah, I just bought this in a whim before we left because I realized we just had like a giant thing of sunscreen and it was probably a year old and I don't know how due dates work for body sunscreen. I know for face sunscreen, you're supposed to replace it every six months. I just got a new sunscreen for the trip and I found this one at Shoppers and I really like it actually. It's very hydrating and just feels good on. Kind of feels like a nice lotion. <sighs> yes, I'm talking about sunscreens now. <laughs> I'm waiting for David to wake up so we can go to breakfast. I'm letting him sleep in a bit. I've been kind of on his ass about waking up early and enjoying the day. So just letting him rest a bit. I'm very sad we're leaving, honestly. But at the same time, I'm like kind of craving normalcy again in a weird way. But I think that's just me trying to find some sort of good in the fact that we're leaving so soon. My little boy, I miss my kitty cat. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to miss him so much, but I do and I can't wait to go get him. We will probably pick him up as soon as we get home. And we get back Saturday, so we have one full day to recover, which is really nice. We luckily have a full day to recover. I forgot to skip our fresh prep, which is like our meal delivery service. And at first I was like, oh, that sucks. Like I didn't want to spend on that this month, well, blah, blah, blah. But then I was thinking about it. I was like, oh, that, that'll be nice when we get back from our trip then we don't have to worry about sorry i'm like trying to talk into the mic so you can hear me okay i'm gonna shut up now i feel like i'm just babbling Do change overnight.